Chapter 42, The Present and Eternal Rewards Service Brings Reward While the great final reward is given at Christ's coming, true-hearted service for God brings a reward even in this life. Testimonies, Volume 6, pages 305 and 306. Brought closer to Jesus. When you succor the poor, sympathize with the afflicted and oppressed, and befriend the orphan, you bring yourselves into a closer relationship to Jesus. Testimonies, Volume 2, page 25. A richer experience promised. To practice the principles of love which Christ taught by precept and example will make the experience of everyone who follows him like the experience of Christ. Review and Herald, January 15, 1895. As you open your door to Christ's needy and suffering ones, you are welcoming unseen angels. You invite the companionship of heavenly beings. They bring a sacred atmosphere of joy and peace. They come with praises upon their lips, and an answering strain is heard in heaven. Every deed of mercy makes music there. Desire of Ages, page 639 will thrill with satisfaction. There is earnest work for every pair of hands to do. Let every stroke tell for the uplifting of humanity. There are so many that need to be helped. The heart of him who lives, not to please himself, but to be a blessing to those who have so few blessings, will thrill with satisfaction. Let every idler awake and face the realities of life. Take the word of God and search its pages. If you are a doer of his word, life will indeed be to you a living reality, and you will find that the reward is abundant. Manuscript 46, 1898 Perplexing problems will be solved. If you will seek the Lord and be converted every day, if you will of your own spiritual choice be free and joyous in God, if with gladsome consent of heart to his gracious call you come wearing the yoke of Christ, the yoke of obedience and service, all your murmurings will be stilled, all your difficulties will be removed, all the perplexing problems that now confront you will be solved. Mount of Blessing, page 150. Often repaid in the coin of the realm. The golden rule teaches, by implication, the same truth which is taught elsewhere in the Sermon on the Mount, that with what measure ye meet it shall be measured to you again. That which we do to others, whether it is good or evil, will surely react upon ourselves in blessing or cursing. Whatever we give, we shall receive again. The earthly blessings which we impart to others may be, and often are, repaid in kind. What we give does, in time of need, often come back to us in fourfold measure in the coin of the realm. But besides this, all gifts are repaid, even in this life, in the fuller inflowing of his love, which is the sum of all heaven's glory and its treasures. Mount of Blessing 194 God will repay. In heaven a book is written for those who interest themselves in the needs of their fellow beings, a book whose record will be revealed in that day when every man will be judged according to the deeds written therein. God will repay every act of injustice done to the poor. Those who manifest indifference or disregard for the unfortunate must not expect to receive the blessings of him who declared, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Letter 140, 1908 All Good Deeds Recorded God has not been unmindful of the good deeds, the self-denying acts of the church in the past. All are registered on high. Testimonies, Volume 5, page 611 Every faithful, unselfish performance of duty is noticed by the angels and shines in the life record. Testimonies, Volume 2, page 132. Angels are commissioned to be our helpers. They are passing between earth and heaven, bearing upward the record of the doings of the children of men. Southern Watchman, April 2, 1903. In Heaven's Imperishable Record Every act of love Every word of kindness, every prayer in behalf of the suffering and oppressed is reported before the eternal throne and placed on heaven's imperishable record. Testimonies, Volume 5, page 133. It were well to remember the record kept on high 
that book in which there is no omissions, no mistakes, and out of which they will be judged. There every neglected opportunity to do service for God is recorded, and there too every deed of faith and love is held in everlasting remembrance. Prophets and Kings, page 639. Reward for Welfare Work Those who will receive the most abundant reward will be those who have mingled with their activity and zeal gracious tender pity for the poor, the orphan, the oppressed, and the afflicted. There are about us those who have a meek and lowly spirit, the Spirit of Christ, who do many little things to help those around them, and who think nothing of it. They will be astonished at last to find that Christ has noticed the kind words spoken to the disheartened and taken account of the smallest gift given for the relief of the poor that cost the giver some self-denial. Review and Herald, July 3, 1894 God takes note of works of kindness. Every act of justice, mercy, and benevolence makes melody in heaven. The Father from his throne beholds those who do these acts of mercy and numbers them with his most precious treasures. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. Every merciful act to the needy, the suffering, is regarded as those done to Jesus. Testimonies, Volume 2, page 25. Rewarded for little things generally overlooked. 